Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel Bone Arrow Tarot. We're going to get right into a connection reading, an outlook that you have, uh, an outlook into a connection that you have with someone. And it's going to be the next seven day outlook, what's going on this week and this connection, November 16th to the 23rd. And uh, once I'm done pulling out your cards and your person's cards, we'll get into your oracles and your clarifiers. So Aquarius, what is going on for my lovely Aquarius this week? Your person is coming in with eight of wands and you are coming in with three of swords. Wow. They see you as justice and you see them as the hanged man. They desire five of pentacles and you desire knight of swords. And what needs to happen for them is three of cups and for you, Ten of Wands. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Pentacles. One of my favorite queens. She really comes from nothing. She puts her all blood, sweat, and tears into everything that she does. And this is how she's able to create this beautiful garden of abundance and wealth. Uh, really, really becoming emotionally involved in her work, right? So this is an energy that's under kind of an undercurrent of all of this this week. So Aquarius, what's going on? Eight of Wands and Three of Swords. Well, Eight of Wands came out uh, in the same position for your sister sign Libra in their reading, and your person is coming in this week with a lot of chaos, right? But I think in this reading, I feel something different. I almost feel like for them, there's very conflicted energy. Okay, very, very conflicted. I almost want to say guilty, maybe even, I'm feeling, right? Something's going on here. Eight of Wands is mixed emotions, mixed intentions, you know, saying one thing, doing another thing. It can be quite chaotic, and it's usually a sign that boundaries need to be put in place more than anything. Now, Aquarius, for you, you're coming into the week with Three of Swords, which is a sense of betrayal, right? You've been betrayed. You feel betrayed. Three of Swords, I'm going to take a quick moment for this card, because a lot of times it is misinterpreted as third-party energy. It is a Swords card, not a Cup card. We have a heart there because ultimately it's the ego that has been pierced, and that really goes to the heart of who we are a lot of times. But Three of Swords is a, a betrayal, because in Tarot, Three is the number for bonding. It's number for loyalty and virtue. And when that bonding, that loyalty has been broken, that trust has been tr broken in any kind of way, we feel betrayed. And so you're coming into the week with this energy. Now, let's go further. How do you guys see each other? Well, your person is seeing you as justice, and for you, you're seeing them as the hanged man. So again, there's the guilt, I almost feel like, because they're seeing you as somebody who's really um, rebalancing something that has been out of balance, that has been unjust, and almost as if, like, you are representing equality and justice for them, right? Yet, for for you, you're seeing them as the hanged man, they, the, an inability for them to really have moved on their own. The hanged man is somebody who requires uh, inspiration to be able to move further. They're not able to dig in within themselves and, and pull that out, right? They require it from without of themselves. Something needs to come in to wake them up and give them that halo of enlightenment that you see there. And it is inspiration from without that comes in, meeting someone, seeing someone, someone else showing them that they can do so much more with their lives. And so this is really interesting that this dynamic is happening here can be, uh, it could also be very much that, you know, there has been a betrayal here with this person, yet the way you're handling it, it's like they're, they almost can't face you. Because if you're, if they're seeing you as justice, justice is able to maintain its e equilibrium and its composure and balance in the face of uh, unjust actions, right? In the face of an imbalance. So it's quite interesting. It's strong energy. Um, and I do feel there's a, there's an aspect of guilt here. Now, what do they desire? Five of pentacles for you, knight of swords. So it's almost as though they're desiring a chance to come back, right? To make it up. Five of pentacles is very much, um, uh, you know, it, 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 it's kind of rebuilding. It's when you rebuild from a huge setback, right? A setback where you either lost something through a power struggle or a war or some kind of split has, has, has happened, and you've essentially been ostracized and turned out into the cold. You're kind of the one who got the short end of the stick and sort of uh, as now has to rebuild. And it's interesting that this would be in a position of desire for your person. Again, this really speaks to a guilty feeling that is here with this individual. 
Uh, almost as though, like, it could very well be that this is a reconciliation you're having or somebody's coming back from your past who maybe has put you in this situation, right? Or maybe that's where the betrayal is coming from. But somehow you, you're you still... Uh, you're still kind of represent, representing sort of the best of the best with them, this ability to remain true and remain balanced. So they require, they, I don't know, I feel like a strong sense of wanting to not necessarily be punished, but almost feeling like, you know, they don't, des you know, they need to go through their own sort of um, lesson, right? They desire, I think, another chance. They desire to be able to prove to you that they made a mistake. Whatever they put you through, they're willing to sort of work their way back from it. In this case, I feel like Five of Pentacles is, is, is very much the opportunity to work your way back to a place you were. Ultimately, that's what it is. And it generally indicates this when we're talking about our own finances, careers, and, and then sustenance and abundance. But here, it almost feels very much like they're wanting to have the opportunity to, in a very real way, kind of crawl their way back to uh, where they rightfully belong with you and in the face of respect and balance, having sort of really lost their way with that hang man. You, however, desire Knight of Swords, so you're just not willing to continue to have ties with people who hold you back. And so your desire is to be able to just really finally cut these ties. Knight of Swords is the one who really cuts them, right? So Page of Swords begins to sort of face the fears that we have of being a failure and stand up to negative thinking. But Knight of Swords takes it another step further and says, look, I don't even want to be connected with places, people, places, and things that continually hold me back mentally or that continually make me feel as though I can't succeed mentally. Like, I don't even want to be connected with those people. And so it's interesting. I'm not even sure if you're going to give this person this time. What needs to happen? Three of Cups and Ten of Wands. Well, for them, Three of Cups bonding loyalty, right? Three of Cups is the card for bonding. When you come back with your friends, you reaffirm loyalties. You reaffirm the bonds. You sorry about the focus, guys. You 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 know remind each other that the love is there, the trust is there, right? But this is a building up, and so Three of Cups is interesting uh, for your person. They really need to. They, three of, you know, they need to work at it, right? They need to put effort in. They need to work at it. Three of Cups is also the card for friendship and reaching out to your friends in time of need. It could very well be that they really need to reach out to mutual friends or to others in, in your lives that you share or to get some kind of insight on how to be able to crawl back or work their way back into your good graces. Ten of Wands for you. So Aquarius, for you, it's very much about just letting go, right? You're ready to let go go. You don't want to carry any more burden, guilt. Uh, you don't want to carry any more pain about this. There may have been some hangups you have carried around, right? Because Ten of Wands is all about sort of release, right? Having carried certain hangups and certain, you know, certain ideas about ourselves, certain ways of acting and behaving and responding to situations, carrying that around with us in an effort to protect ourselves. But the only thing that's happened is that it really weighs us down. And in the end, we don't make the right decisions for our lives. Lives. And this usually comes as a result of trauma that we hold on from past relationships. So for you, Aquarius, this is also a time to really let go of whatever betrayal you've connected with this person or whatever you have connected with this person that has really served as a source of burden for you, right? You've been carrying it around just way too long. It's time to kind of, for your own good, let go as well. So not only with Nine of Swords letting go or um, cutting ties with the actual people, places, and things to hold you back, but with Ten of Wands, we're talking about just being, you know, being fed up and really exhausted with also carrying around your own kind of... Um, Burden, hang up, oppressive ideas, you know, your own shit, basically, your own baggage. Letting go, finally, of your own baggage as a result of this connection. So this feels like a healing moment with this person. Doesn't necessarily feel like this is a great love connection that's coming back together, but it does feel like this week, Aquarius, you're going to be able to sort of kind of, I want to say, heal, you know, Cleanse this wound and heal it in a way, you know, 
Eight of Swords, wow, Two of Swords and the Fool, right? It's time to make a decision. Two of Swords is finding balance. Again, Moon and Libra energy, it's similar to Justice, but it's also in the face of uh, making a decision that you can't make, right? Oftentimes, Two of Swords is being faced with options where neither option is really good for us, and what we really need to do is find the right balance for ourselves. Um, finding the right balance for you, not being forced into any decisions that you don't want to make, not being gaslit. Eight of Swords is gaslighting energy. And the fool we have here really showing you that it's time for a new day. It's a time for a new attitude, a new way of looking at things. And I think that this connection this week is will be very good for you, uh, Aquarius, because this is a case of healing. Healing something that you, healing a wound that has come out of this connection with this person and really making the right decisions and finding the right balance for yourself. Certainly finding a new place with that full energy. A new way, a new place, a new way of handling certain things in your life. Certainly a new way of looking at this connection. Certainly letting go of freedom, finally, from this. Full and ten of wands. Let me just, full and ten of wands is freedom. Right, is absolute freedom from oppression, freedom from burdens, freedom from hangups. It is letting go and really giving over to positive thinking. There goes the siren in the background, guys. You know, Philadelphia. <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm 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 coming to you from Philly and sirens are never really very far behind downtown Philly. But all right, let's see what kind of spirits are impacting this connection, Aquarius. And I'm going to call this a reading. We have Mirror Spirit, mm -hmm, Spirit of the Fog, and Spirit of the Masquerade. Well, there you go. Reflecting, vanity, right? It's coming in. Spirit of the Fog, confusion, shadiness, uh, unclear, and false, hidden, deceptive. All dark, really, Spirits of Darkness and Light Oracle deck. But here we're seeing a lot of dark spirits and really... Uh, I want to say, I want to say busting through all of that, right? That vanity with that mirror spirit, that spirit of the fog and spirit of masquerade. I almost, I almost wonder if that is all what was going on in this connection before they caused the, the, um, the betrayal, right? The betrayal. Uh, being very clear in this situation, Two of Swords is is in an inability to make the right decision. So this is definitely impacting you. These are definitely impacting you in this way. But the way through it is to let go of old patterns of behaving and thinking. Certainly, Eight of Swords is toxic energy. I want to say this person certainly probably has a history of toxic energy. And even though they're coming back with this kind of like, oh, you know, I really want to be able to get back in your good grades attitude, at the end of the day, um, be very careful here because, again, I don't feel like they have really learned their lesson. They're really coming correct. This is very much more Aquarius about you handling this situation a new way rather than going back to old uh, and uh, old sort of behavior patterns that precipitate this kind of confusion and darkness and really, um, I want to say, uh, lack of clarity of what's really going on here. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarius. This is your reading, November 16th to the 23rd, trying to keep these weekly outlooks a little bit short. We all have just too much going on right now. So that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. If you enjoyed it, if you got some clarity, please like, subscribe, and share. But for right now, uh, Aquarius, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys at your next reading. Bye-bye now.